So, I just saw that What's New Wednesday is getting ready to drop, but this is not about that. This is called um, I Have Nap Time and I want to talk to you guys while I have a minute. So, somebody had asked recently about rollers and then I was actually having a conversation with one of you all last night about... Um, where I get them, what oils I use. So I just wanted to hop on here and do a little bit of, I'm gonna make a roller with you guys and talk about what I do, how I use it, and I'm making a wellness one today. So I want to do one that's um, supporting my immune system. This one is gonna be a travel one for my husband to have um, while he's at work or wherever. I keep one in my diaper bag and on our counter. So one of the biggest things with oils is see them. So what is that phrase? Um, out of sight, out of mind, totally effective or totally true. If I am seeing an oil, I'm like, oh, you know what? I should put that on because I'm feeling this way or that way right now. And I feel like that would benefit or I need a reboot. Let's put something on. Um, and so I keep our wellness one out and I'll, if I pass it during the day, I'm like, oh, you know what, let me roll that down the spines of our kiddos real quick. So um, having them out where I can see them helps me remember to use them. I'm gonna reuse one today. This is one of my old um, uh, Young Living bottles that you know, I've used before that was either lavender or frankincense or something. Um, from Could have been from your starter kit. Like just take it and you can soak it. First off, I'll have, actually I have a whole thing on this. <laughs> I'm gonna do a whole post on it. But my process for get, using um, old ones is I turn it upside down and some Epsom salts for like a day. And then I have Epsom salts for the bathtub to soak in or for my kids to soak in. Um, and then the next day or whenever I'm done or ready to do it, I drop it in some water and I can use that water in the diffuser. So I'm like, I'm really not wasting any drop of this. And so you've kind of got this like a uh, hint of whatever is in the bottle in your diffuser and you can diffuse that then whole next day. Then I soak it in some hot water and a little bit of thieves cleaner if you want and that helps get the labels off you're still gonna have that sticky residue bonus points for the first person to tell me well i'm gonna tell you <laughs> lemon oil if you have not used lemon oil as your goo gone this is your opportunity so if you just put a drop of lemon oil along the label or whatever sticky residue you're trying to get off let it sit for like a minute or two while you're doing something else and then it's gonna rub off so much easier. Just get a wet paper towel or something and the lemon oil will eat off that paper and it's so helpful. It's like the best goo gone ever without the horrible icky smell of that. Um, so let's make a roller together. First off, you find one, find your roller. And I have some other examples of really cute ones. This one is from Whimsy and Wellness. I love their rollers. They're so cute, so pretty. And theirs are ingrained. Like they normally have them like etched into it. So you're not rubbing it off. You're not um, getting oil on it. My only downfall for theirs is they're all glass or gemstone rollers. And so while some of the time that's fantastic and they come out really well, I find a lot of times, um, they stick for me. So I've like rubbed them on like, like a rock or a hard surface or sometimes before to help it to get to roll a little smoother. But for me, I prefer the metal roller balls that I get. Um, and so when I'm looking on Amazon or I'm looking on Etsy, which are two of the places that I get my rollers from, I'm almost always looking for the metal roller ball because I just feel like it goes on a lot smoother. These are from, if anybody has signed up with me, their birthday blend. Um, I got these a set from Amazon, like I said, Whimsy and Wellness, um, Etsy. I found these on Etsy. And so um, you can get them really fancy and pretty. This is for like my emotional rollers or as a perfume. So I get something that's a little bit more, you know, fun or nice or whatever. Um, I make a lot of my labels with my Cricut, but you can also, there's, some, I'll link all this stuff below too. There's, um, some labels you can get on Etsy. There's this really fun tape. It's like a craft colored tape that you can write on to wrap around your labels. That's really cool as well. Um, and then if there's happens to be anybody that's not a DIY person, Young Living sells their own rollers too. Um, and I will refill these. This one's deep relief for any kind of back aches, pains, those sort of things. I used it a ton at the end of my pregnancy. But um, once, I f once I finish it, I just pop it off and refill it with my own. And then I have my own deep relief that is my made up one, you know, but I reuse the rollers that I get from Young Living too. So 
I can link some of my play. Actually, I have a whole document in the top. If you want to click on the top documents, I made a whole um, Amazon list link for items that I get off Amazon and, and Etsy for rollers. So check that link out. But Whimsy Wellness, Etsy, Amazon, those are my three go-to spots for getting fun rollers um, if I'm not reusing one. So today, I told you I'm gonna make a wellness one. I find your oils, gather the oils that you wanna use and find your carrier oil. Carrier oil is gonna be a fatty oil that is going to remain a liquid. So there's lots of different options for that and I'm gonna show you guys a document below also that uh, gives you some ideas about which oils you'd wanna use. Most of the time, pretty much most all the time, I use fractionated coconut oil. It's always gonna stay liquid whereas coconut oil you get from like Costco or something that you cook with is going to solidify in a certain temperature. So you want something that's going to remain a liquid because you don't want it turning solid inside your roller. Um, this is a great one to use because most of my rollers I put on the back of my neck, behind my ear, down my spine, on my feet, and I don't have any problem with that. Um, if I'm doing my face moisturizer that's going to be covering my whole face, then I use jojoba oil. It's the most like, uh, most similar to your skin's natural oils composition. And so jojoba oil is a fantastic one um, to use. And then I'm going to give you, I have a helper here again today. <laughs> Um, I have uh, a list that I'm going to show you guys, but it also is going to depend on your skin type. Hey, can you stop taking pictures for the moment? Um, it's going to depend on your skin type. You know, some people are allergic to nuts, so sweet almond oil is not going to be one of those that you want to use because it could have an allergic reaction with your skin. But a great place to start is just putting a little bit on your skin, see how your skin reacts with it. Um, a lot of people say uh, coconut oil on your face can clog your pores. I used it for a long time and didn't notice that, and then I went to a like holistic facial I was given as a gift when I was pregnant, and she was like, do you use coconut oil on your face? And I was like, yes. She's like, your, clothes, your pores are clogged when you get closer up, and I was like, oh, I didn't know. So, um, yeah, so that's why I say jojoba oil for face oils, and I use fractionated coconut oil for pretty much everywhere else, um, but there's a lot of other options. Avocado oil is a really good fatty oil, and um, the reason that you're using a carrier oil and making a roller a lot of times is that you either want the oil to last longer, like say you've got a frankincense that is a really expensive oil and you want it to last longer, you don't wanna just use it neat or undiluted or straight from the bottle. Um, if you add it to a carrier oil and use it as a roller, you can still have the amazing benefits of using frankincense without using it straight and it going through the bottle really quickly. Um, another way that you might wanna do it is because you're adding other oils to the roller. Um, for their benefits and um, you want to mix them and make a roller that way. But depending on the need that you have your roller for could depend on what you're using for your carrier oil. But today I'm using fractionated coconut oil and I gathered all of the oils that I want. And like I said, I'm reusing a bottle. Um, so I have these Aroma Glide filaments that you can get from Young Living that fit their bottles perfectly. And I love getting these because like I said, I can reuse all of these. Um, and you get a 10 pack for $10. So they're a dollar a piece um, to fit on the top. And they go on really easily. I'll show you that in just a second, but let's make this. So this one is a 15 ml. Almost all of the ones that I get are all 10 mls, 10 milliliter sizes. Pretty much every roller that I own is 10 milliliters. So it's kind of odd actually today for me to be making um, this size one because it's larger than my other one. So I'll probably put a little more than normal, but I'm going to post a dilution ratio chart as well that Young Living offers for kids under a year, kids under two years, kids under like two to six, and then under eight, all those. So dilution ratios are how many oils per drop or uh, drop of oils per dilution of a carrier oil that you want. Um, this is also going to be, you can go off of the ratio chart, but it's also going to be what you feel comfortable with. So where we've used oils for years and years, you know, several years now, I feel a lot more comfortable with putting them on myself and even sometimes my kiddos, whereas someone that's brand new to oils may be a little more leery and that's okay because you don't need a lot for it to be beneficial. You know, one single drop of frankincense or of lavender might be exactly what your body needs, especially if it's brand new to you. So um, start slow, start light, and you can always add more, but it's better to play it on the safer side and just 
just increase your amount slowly, okay? So for a normal 10 ml roller that I make, I, for me and my husband, adult size, I use around 15 drops. And so that's a good like general number for me to say to other people, Again, I'm gonna post the dilution ratio below for what Young Living says is a, a you know good amount to use. Um, obviously, there's oils that I use undiluted, neat as well. But if I'm making a roller, around 15 drops is what I normally do. Um, for my face one that I want, I want all the good oils on my face for like wrinkle support and things like that. I'm more like half the bottle to a carrier oil. Um, again, it's what your preference is. If I'm making ones for my kiddos, I just made some, I should have done a, DIY or a video of that. I made some kiddos uh, rollers for them last week. And I think I ended up doing, I used some leftover bottles for them too. And the 5ml, I think I just did a, a handful, a couple, a several, maybe like four. And then this size, I think I did closer to like maybe five to eight or eight. But, um, for their little skin. I have a five-year-old, a five-and-a-half-year-old, and a two-and-a-half-year-old. But we, uh, so for an adult, for you to make one, I would range about 15 drops for a 10 ml. So we're gonna make a wellness roller today, and like I said, I'm, because this one's 15 ml, I'm gonna do a little bit more than normal. But for our wellness rollers, we use a fun concoction that I'm gonna share with you. Thieves, always a fantastic one to make your wellness roller in. If you only did thieves, you would be doing your body well. Um, this is a great one to put on the bottoms of your feet before you leave in the morning if your kids are heading out to school, if you're heading out to work, um, or on the back of their spine. Like sometimes they're walking out the door and I just like flipped up their shirt, run their spine, and <laughs> out the door. Um, so thieves, if you only did that, that would be great. We add a couple more in ours. Oh, I grabbed orange instead of lemon, but we, that'll be okay. I do the Thieves, which is a blend of five different oils. I also do just one or two drops of oregano. Um, it is a powerhouse all its own as well when it comes to immune support and has been shown, uh, I just forgot the name of the, I couldn't say it anyways. <laughs> you can do some research on oregano oil, but I'll add like one drop, it's a very strong smelling and it's also a hot oil, so you don't wanna use very much because it can be really warm on your skin. Um, but I'll add one drop in the fall and winter to my Thieves Cleaner um, just to help kill stuff that way too. But I'll do just one or two drops of oregano. Again, you don't need a lot for it to go a long ways. Thieves, oregano, frankincense. Um, not only is it grounding and great for your skin and that sort of thing, it's also helpful for an immune boost. Lemon, which I left in there. <laughs> do you think you grab my lemon oil for me, buddy? It's... Uh, the one that's yellow on the counter in there. Um, lemon, the citruses, all the citruses are good for uh, immune support. And then the one, this one I just started adding last year, I was reading a bunch of people that I follow use Exodus 2, which I really actually love the smell of. Um, it's got, sorry, well, it's, you smell cassia, a little bit of like a mild cinnamon on it. Um, thank you, dude. Uh, it's got, Olive, myrrh, um, cassia, cinnamon, northern lights, black spruce, hyssop, vetiver, and frankincense. Um, but it's a really good one for immune support too. Again, you can make your roller with just thieves. Like if you've got your starter kit, thieves and lemon and frankincense, you're set. You're good to go. These are just ones that I've added to because I have them and why not? <laughs> so, um, so let's make this. I am going to add... Thieves is my most go-to, most important one. So I'm gonna do, let's see, maybe eight or 10 of that one. Remember, this is a 15, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. This is a 15 ml roller. It's not the 10 size that I normally do. Um, and so I'm gonna do 10 of that one. Put some of my lemon in, thank you, helper. Um, that one I'm gonna do, I kind of, I, like, if this is not a scientific thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna do about three or four of that one. One, two, three, and it you know, comes out faster. So do the lemon. Oregano, like I said, it's a hot oil. It's also got a really strong smell to it, so I'm just gonna do like one or two of that. Um, one, two. I'm 
gonna do a little bit of frankincense. I used my ear points to be able to get a large box of frankincense. Oh, my, my phone is highlighting all of the what's new Wednesday items are coming in stock right now. So um, if you're not on Nina's uh, Magic is Essential page, she just posted all of the uh, things that are going back in stock today, but I'll post it here in just a second also. Frankincense, I'll do a couple drops of that. Oh, that one came in really fast. Um, little moment in case you haven't heard before. The big dot in the middle, that is not where the oils come out. Uh, it took me a long time to know that. There's an itty bitty little pin prick dot. I don't know if you can see it on the bottom here. That's where the oil actually comes out. This middle one is just the air hole. So wherever that little pin prick hole is, if you put that one down, it's gonna come out the fastest. If you wanna put that at the top when you drop it, it's gonna come out slower. So there's your helpful tip for the day. And then Exodus 2, I'm gonna do just a couple drops of it as well. Um, and then we'll be set to go guys. So some of them come out a little slower than others. This one has vetiver in it. Vetiver is a resin. And so it's gonna um, drop just quite a bit slower than the rest of them. So intense eye hand coordination going on right here. So get all the oils in. You can see them all in there. And then we are going to do our pump. See, I also love the fact that this has a squeeze top or a pump top on it. And then the other trick of the day, a lot of people would just go and push that on the top, which you can do. I'm gonna show you something easier. Drop it in and screw it on and you're good to go. So that's also how you can get it off without having to get your hands all wet and messed up, you can just pop it off that way. So really simple. Um, I'll probably get some of the really fun craft tape and just write immune boost or something like that on this. And this will be in my husband's uh, lunchbox for him to put on throughout the fall and winter. And that's all. So just to kind of recap, find yourself some bottles that you really enjoy because often the way that you, if you think they're fun and they look cute, then you're more likely to use them and have them sitting out. So Etsy, Whimsy Wellness, Amazon are my go-tos. Find yourself a carrier oil, such as fractionated coconut oil. I also have this on my Amazon list because I get this off Amazon. You're gonna wanna get something that's organic. Don't mess with getting all organic oils and then put something that's junk on your skin with it. So make sure you've got something that's organic from Amazon, whether that be jojoba, sweet almond oil, um, fractionated coconut oil, avocado oil, and I'm gonna put the charts, post them here below to see. Um, get you a good carrier oil, gather the oils that you wanna use for your roller, and um, my immune support one, I'll post in there for you to see, but I did um, thieves, lemon, oregano, exodus two, and frankincense in mine. But if you just are starting with the starter kit, do frankincense, lemon, and um, thieves. It's gonna be fantastic. So we that is our roller making today. Let me know if you have any questions and I would love to talk about some more roller blends for you guys too. So stay tuned for that. I also want to talk about back to school. This will definitely be in the back to school list of what we make for my kiddos um, and for you guys as you get ready to go back out into the world a little bit more. So we'll talk about our health and our immune systems um, probably Hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll get to that class. But rollers, reuse your old ones. Make sure that you don't throw these away. All right, bye guys.